Ghana may not meet the Millennium Development Goal 7, which seeks to halve the proportion of people uh, that live without sustainable access to safe drinking water and basic sanitation. Campaign coordinator of ISODEC, Dr. Steve Manteo, indicated that gains made in improving access to water and sanitation in Ghana remains modest. A joint report by the World Health Organization and UNICEF on sanitation and water revealed over 2.4 billion people of the world's population will remain without access to improved sanitation and water by the end of 2015. Campaign coordinator of ISODEC, Dr. Steve Manteo, called on government to improve on provision of portable water to Ghanaians. We all need water to live a life of dignity. And I think if we can ensure that the needed investment in the water sector are derived from the oil revenues, there's a, that, that, it is one way by which we assure that every citizen becomes an equal beneficiary in, the, in our oil extraction. At a national forum on water in Accra, policy analyst of ISODEC, Leonard Shankorti, said the privatization of the sector would be a disservice to Ghanaians. I'm not used privatization of water to address the problem of lack of water for rural pop, uh, population. Because one of the uh, challenges facing the, uh, some sections of the population is ability to afford, ability to pay. So if you put a price barrier, automatically you are excluding a section of the population. European Union program officer Heavy De Soul said limited access to safe water and sanitation impacts significantly on the development of children. About 23% of Ghanaian children suffer from stunting, chronic malnutrition linked to, amongst other, uh, other, others, poor water and sanitation. Five million Ghanaians still have no choice but to use water from unsafe sources. The director of Italian Committee of World Water Contract, Rosario Lebo, also called on government to effectively strengthen rights to water and sanitation. The National Forum on Water discussed achieving the human rights to water in Ghana challenges and possibilities.